Astralis have had it rough lately. They've lost their title as the best team in the world, they lost their crown as the kings of Nuke, and along the way, they just seem to have lost their form. But at ESL 1 Cologne, we saw some cool flashes of the Astralis we once knew. Hey guys, and welcome to Pro Guides. I'm Dave, and today we're going to be taking a look at Astralis' Nuke game against Fnatic, where the Danes prove they still have a few tricks up their sleeve. Astralis put up a dominant performance in their best of three against Fnatic. Their series saw the Swedish team getting only seven rounds in total across two entire maps. Could this be the return of the Astralis era? Probably not. But it's exciting to see the once best in the world team return to form. We're going to be focusing on a certain squeaky play that Astralis were making over and over and how it impacted their entire T half. The strat itself is nothing special. I mean, Astralis blows squeaky with an HE. Then they put pressure on Mini with smokes, molotovs, and more HEs, and even just gunfire. Lots of other teams do this. Really, it's nothing special at this point. But the opening itself isn't what we want to look at. Instead, we want to see how Astralis conditioned and bullied Fnatic with this common tactic. Astralis starts the way they meant to, and on the pistol round, blow squeaky. Again, nothing special. But this is their first step towards conditioning Fnatic. Round 3 sees Astralis put some real money behind the play, and they begin to establish it as their default opening. HE squeaky, Molly mini, and lay down some covering fire. It gets Fnatic used to expecting this every round. Fnatic can't ignore an open door, so they have to devote one person to watching it at all times. Meanwhile, Astralis actually goes for an outer play, smoking off Mini and Garage. Round 5 sees the strat come out again. Only this time, Fnatic wants to experiment. Last time this play came out, it meant there was an outer hit, so JW starts to probe Squeaky. If Astralis is doing the same play again, he could just push for a devastating flank. But Astralis keeps a player in Lobby for just this reason. They exchange blows, and Fnatic knows Lobby isn't left empty when Squeaky gets blown. However, Fnatic have paid a price for their information. It was another outer play from Astralis. They've gotten free map control while Fnatic was trying to figure out what was going on. In round six, we see the same thing again, but this time with an adjustment from Astralis. Since they know Fnatic tried to push for info last round, they put an extra player around Squeaky to punish any CT aggression. With Fnatic on an eco round, the chances of this kind of push is likely. The round sees another outer push from Astralis. The idea that their default opening of blowing squeaky means they're going for an outer play starts to become cemented. Round seven sees another change from Astralis. They blow squeaky, but this time they go for a fast push onto A. They get a quick kill, but the push fails, dramatically. What it does do though, is draw Fnatic's focus onto the A site. A quick adjustment from Astralis, and they push to a now unguarded ramp room. By shaking up their default opening, Astralis pulled an overreaction out of Fnatic. This lets Astralis get more free map control. It also means that in future rounds, Fnatic knows this opening can lead to an outer play or a fast A push. Now Fnatic needs to prepare for both. In rounds eight, we see yet another change to the Astralis opening, this time sending only one player through Squeaky and down through the vent. In anticipation of a rush, Fnatic are holding more defensive positions further back. They can't afford to be caught in the open if five Danes start charging towards them. So, while Fnatic are adjusting to a play they've already seen, Astralis are rolling out a totally new one. Dupree's push through the vent is crushing to Fnatic, as he's able to take down the only lower defender, Twist. Now, when Fnatic sees this squeaky opening, they need to look out for three possible strats from Astralis. Round 9 sees yet another change from Astralis. They have the same opening. But this time, they go for a fast silo push towards Mini. For the last two rounds, Astralis have gone for a play around the squeaky area, so it's understandable that Fnatic would adjust to anticipate a third. So, while the Swedes are focusing on the A site, Astralis are pushing to flank them with a fast outer play. The adjustment catches Fnatic totally off guard, and we see Astralis mowing them down as they're literally running for cover. Make that four different strats that Fnatic now has to try and counter. Okay, round 10, and I think you can see where this is going. Another round, another new push from Astralis. This time, a solo outer play to scout out how Fnatic is holding the area the last round. With the off spotted outside, Astralis heads to ramp, looking to overwhelm with numbers. Now it's five strats for Fnatic to try and stop. By round 11, Fnatic is a broken team. 
Astralis is now free to push with any strat they want because Fnatic gets no information from the squeaky opening. It could mean one of five different things. Fnatic is now conditioned to both ignore squeaky getting blown, but also has a dedicated tension and manpower to it. They have to either spread themselves thin to cover every possibility, or take a risk and try and counter just one of the five possible attacks. To rub salt into the wound, this round has Astralis do three of their strats, all at once. Device pushes outer and gets a kill, Zipex rushes down vent, and the rest of the team gets a kill taking ramp room. Fnatic are broken and can do nothing but save their guns. Fnatic takes round 12 for themselves, a round where Astralis don't use their squeaky opening. But this is the last round Fnatic will get for the entire game. Astralis were on good form, but it was their manipulation that demolished Fnatic. If this is a sign of things to come, then maybe it's time for Ents to start shaking in their boots. The old kings of Nuke are back, and they want their crown. Just a short one from us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you think of Astralis' performance at Cologne. And if you'd like to learn more strats, be sure to check out ProGuides.com. Till next time, good luck in your matches.